abs, yeah. yeah. Uh, how would you like to have abs like J Lo? I was kind of thinking more like Chris Powell. Oh uh, well, I'll go with the J Lo. <laughs> Anything like J Lo, sign me up. One of the biggest ways to target that trouble spot is high intensity interval training. Kylie is live at True Hit in the North Valley with what to do to get rid of that stubborn belly fat. Good morning. Oh, good morning. We all have it, no matter if we've had kids or I haven't had kids. And let's face it, you got a little extra loving in the belly area. JLo's almost 50, so we're going to help you get abs like her. We're doing some exercises right now. I'm going to join them, but first I want to introduce you to Jody. Jody, we all want abs. I mean, swimsuit season is pretty much 10 months out of the year. Yes. And, uh, you know, my dad used to do a bunch of crunches back in the day thinking he'd get an ab. No, he still has that dad bod. Uh, what's the key to, uh, to having a flat stomach? We're really engaging your core in a lot of exercises, which we do here. Today is arm day, and we also have a core focus on Mondays. So a lot of our exercises are full body movements, and really to do them correctly, you have to have your core engaged like 90 to 100 percent of the time. So it's really important for that. But then we also do these awesome finishers where we really focus on abs specifically. So you want to go through some of those? Let's go through All some right, of them. Um, I've got these two. Mike, just 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 be on them. You don't need to show me exercising. <laughs> uh, what's the first one? All right, let's start with some plank up down. So you're going to get in a plank position on your toes, keeping your core nice and tight so your body's a straight line. You're going to drop down onto your forearm and then the other one and then come back up. Am I and then back right? down. I'd like you to place your hand a little closer to oh. just right under your oh, right shoulder. Here. And then you can switch sides each time so you're always working a different one. This is harder than it looks. It's really hard, huh? It's hard to control your core. You want to try to keep your hips from swiveling. Awesome. How about some jackknives? You want to okay. give those a try? Yeah, let's give those a try. Let's All right, so you're going to be on your back. Are you going to be able to do them with your... I, th I, yeah, I, I, oh, I've got my equipment. I might not be able to do them. All right, so okay. arms overhead, and you're going to reach one hand and touch your opposite foot, trying to come up into a V position. <gasps> this is... Uh, I do have equipment, so just watch them. Watch them. <laughs> They're I've got doing it. You do here. have a very good excuse on this one. <laughs> All right, let's excuse. go back into the plank position plank then position. for you. And so that. nice tight core. We're going to do grasshoppers now. Okay. So you're going to be in that plank position. You're going to bring your shin to your opposite forearm. So swinging your leg through, trying okay. to keep your core nice yeah. and tight. Yep. And then people that have been doing them for a while, like Mike and Jenny here, can jump and switch and really get a good oblique workout at the same time. So what's so the benefit of that? Well, you're just getting a little bit of more of a cardio benefit, and anytime you're getting a little bit more cardio, you're going to have a little bit more fat burning, a little bit more of a lasting effect throughout the day. So getting a good workout. They're going to do some eagle sit-ups now with a wide leg, so really working those um, core muscles, working the rectus, the one that you see the six-pack on. So everyone wants that six-pack, but just working that muscle alone is not going to do it. So if we're at home, what's nice is this is all free. I mean, we could do this at home in our living room. How many reps do we want to do? How long do we want to do it for? So you can pick like five exercises that you want to focus on. Maybe do 10 to 15 reps of each and do about five to seven rounds of each. It's kind of where you're starting in your level. But yeah, all of this is totally body weight. You do not need any equipment to do it. If you want some equipment to step up and have a medicine ball or something at home, that's easy to find. But yeah, it's really easy to just get this done in about eight to 10 minutes. Okay, and guys, the key is we're running out of time, but Jody says it's all about nutrition. 80% of it is nutrition, so you gotta be careful about what you eat as well. I think I need to take my gear off, um, so we're gonna send it back to you and I'm gonna properly okay. do what she told me because I know I can actually do it. I just was, you know, hindered a little bit by all this gear, so we're gonna take it off. Let's hit that jackknife. I think what you should probably do is call your dad and apologize. Oh. <laughs> right, yeah, it. first things first. Arm and then foot. There she goes. There you, you go. Yeah. yeah. No excuses now. Nice. nice work. Good form. Good job. <laughs>